when you generate your storyboard, it creates a new file. So it's taking the master template and creating, in this case, a, a file called storyboard number one. Now, once you have your storyboard generated, perhaps even before you start customizing, you might want to save what it's giving you here. And the way you do that, you do a file and you do a save as. Up to this point, we've been telling you to use the Excel macro enabled template. You do not want to use it here. You want to save your own storybooks as an Excel macro enabled worksheet. These are going to end with Excel SM. So you should give that a custom name. So I'm going to call this training one here. I want to leave it as Excel SM. Be sure it's Excel macro enabled worksheet. Click on save and it will save it there for you. So again, the important thing is when you're saving your own storyboards, be sure and save them with the XLSM extension. You want to have a macro enabled workbook here so you can work with it as you customize the storyboard to your own particular needs.